science could be the key to Australia's future success on the tennis court. The Australian Institute of Sport in Canberra is putting the next generation of players through their paces and using the latest sports science methods to identify tomorrow's aces. Ben Listen reports. Australian tennis hasn't returned to the heights it reached at the turn of the century. But in the realm of sports science, Australia is leading the world and is turning to technology to study aspects of the game that have always seemed more instinctive. In the tennis world, it's been one of those intangibles. How do you teach feel? How do you assess it? And so on. Alongside the traditional endurance, strength and skills tests is a way of quantifying what's come naturally to the most gifted players. It provides us a bit of an insight into how well a player can feel what they're doing with the ball with limited information and that's why you see they've got the goggles on. 19 year old Sally Pears was on hand for the pilot trial of the new test at this year's camp. It's something that I don't think we focus on maybe so much so it was nice to sort of think about and then I yeah, really started to apply it. Piers has been at the AIS for three years and is now basking in her recent success. She won bronze in the singles at the Delhi Commonwealth Games and won a gold medal in the women's doubles. So I've been really happy with how I've been going so far and it's nice to think that I can make those jumps um, slowly but surely and hopefully continue to improve. About a dozen players from the camp will be selected to train at the AIS next year. We're fortunate in Australia to have some of the world's leading sports scientists, so we're able to tap into that expertise and try to apply it at this level, but also at the younger ages as well. Science helping the next generation hit Australia's way back to the top of the world rankings. Ben Listen, ABC News, Canberra.